guys this is a video that people have been wanting for a long time for whatever reason I mean I guess I get the the curiosity you guys want to know who put a ring on it mm -hmm. and who put a baby inside of me this is Nassim this is my fiance hi guys and he is foreign yeah as fuck <laughs> do you want to see where you're from okay so basically uh Originally, okay, start picking your fucking nose. I am originally North African uh, from Algeria. I was raised in France in Paris. So if at any time you guys can't understand him, it's okay, neither can the people at Starbucks. It's he gets like, so fucking pissed. It's like I'm speaking Chinese. I asked you guys on my Twitter to ask me some questions, or ask us some questions, not just mm -hmm. me. And we're both gonna answer them, some of the questions he's just gonna answer, but yeah, this is gonna be a video where we're gonna talk a little bit about our relationship, a little bit about our baby, and our plans with our baby. He doesn't know any of the questions, and I know all of them. So, let's get started. Okay, has he seen your YouTube videos, and if so, what were his reactions? Oh. He does not like it. I didn't like it. I mean, I didn't I didn't see the whole videos like she did. I saw a few of them. I didn't like it, but honestly, I don't care. It's her past, so that's fine. I'm not, I'm not really... He's talking about how I talk about yeah, fucking and... Exes and, and exes. sex stories and all that. He did not like yeah. that at all. Mm -mm. Most important for me is now and the future, you know, so I don't care. But you still possibly. get mad. Of course I get mad because... I have feelings, so of course I'm gonna be jealous, but mm -hmm. it's fine. Whose last name will the baby have, and do you have any baby names yet? The baby's gonna have his last name, mm -hmm. which we haven't said. People have written articles on me having a baby and getting married, and they completely think that his last name is what he put on his Instagram, which is Simu, but that's well, a nickname. Not. That's not his last name. But yeah, the baby's gonna have his last name. And we have baby names for both a girl and a boy. We are gonna tell you guys what the names are. A lot of you guys know it, actually, because I said it on Instagram. Live. Maybe they don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> if not, when we do the gender reveal, we're also gonna reveal the name. All right, by the way, sorry if I'm like super underwhelmed in this video. It's not because I'm not excited for you guys to meet Nassim. I'm just like painfully tired and stressed out. And what are you saying? Mm uh hmm. No, you just you stressed. Uh huh. I make you stressed. No, you don't make me so. Oh no. Seriously, this pregnancy is like really, really uh, trying to kill me. When was the moment you both realized you were the one? The first night we met, for me. First night. I remember that, like, you I just, mean, well, I mean, it wasn't that long I mean, ago. I it was recently, so. <laughs> I don't know, how did it go from like a regular, just going to your Ooh, house? I have no idea, like, oof. It was so I mean, random. I mean, there's no words to explain it, really. It was pretty crazy. I'm assuming that Nassim has met your parents. Yes, he has. But have you met his family? Uh, yeah. yeah. She met my family on Skype. She met my mom before that. Her family met my family by, by Skype. Because yeah. they are far and they are in Paris. So. Yeah, they're far. But they're but coming they come, this summer. Yeah, they When the baby's on. gonna be born? Do you want a boy or a girl? Honestly, I want a boy. But if we have a girl, I would be happy too, so. I just want the baby to be healthy. If it was a boy, I would be very pleasantly surprised but this fucking thing is a girl and I'm just like marking it now in history it's a girl no doubt about it what were you doing at the gay club the night you guys met I mean obviously I was just out with some friends and one of our friends is gay so he decided to go to them what are two things you guys love about each other and one thing you dislike I'll go first two things I love one he makes me feel very loved half the time I look atrocious the other day I smelled like ketchup the whole day and I was disgusting had to wash my hair in like four days just like really gross and he was like acting like I was like super sexy which was nice of him to lie I to me. I wasn't acting, I was, it was true. Another thing that I love is, this is something I told him kind of early on, but I love how much importance he gives to loving the people in my life. Like he doesn't try to act like he loves my family or anything like that. He honestly does it out of his heart. Like you do it because you love them and you care about them. That makes me so happy. You have like no idea how happy that makes me. Every time he helps my family in any way I'm just so thankful because I'm used to fucking guys pretending to do that shit like being like oh let me impress your mom or stuff you never tried to do that and one thing I dislike well 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 where should I begin okay we've been living together for like almost two months now you find some shit you don't fucking like about someone when you live with them well there's nothing you don't like about me but there's stuff I don't like about him the thing I dislike about you and it's not you know it's not like a horrible thing because we're all humans we have shit that you're not gonna fucking like about me I have shit I'm not gonna like about you it's not like I'm like hating on you. He takes jokes too 
far. Too fucking far. Like when I say, don't talk, don't, mm. don't even talk right now. Oh, I gotta talk. He like will say something and then I'll let him know. I don't think that's funny because he's joking about some shit that I don't like. He'll just say something like, ah, sorry it took so long. I was fucking the neighbor. But okay, hold on. You I'm giving him an example. So he would be like, sorry it took so long. I was fucking the neighbor. And then I'll be like, ha ha ha. And he'll be like, yeah, like I was fucking her from the back. And I'm like, all right, all right, cool. He's like, yeah, like her nice. blonde hair. And I was pulling it. And I was like, all right, stop. And then he's like, yeah, I was fucking good pussy. And I'm like, stop! Like, it's not funny. He takes a joke just way too far until I tell him I'm upset and I'm, I don't want to talk to you. So that's one thing I dislike about one him. Thing, that's oh, and another thing. thing. I have another thing. I know it was okay. only one dislike, but I could throw in another one. He does the dishes bad. I'm trying to help, man. I know, but you leave food stuck on the spoons. I'm trying to help, bitch. I know, but it's so bad. Okay, so the thing that I love with you is her heart and how she treats people like how she made me feel like really really comfortable she made me feel like i'm home you know it's, it's like i am with my family and that's the thing that i really like in her are you gonna cry uh no i'm not gonna cry i think i saw some water in there <laughs> wait what's that okay i have gas we have to hurry up Oof. i'm gonna take my time though <laughs> I really like the way how you respect me and you treat me. That's really? I, mean. I thought you said I was mean to you. No, no, you respect me. Sometimes you're mean, but you respect me. So. <laughs> Something that I don't really like is okay. that when she doesn't stop claiming, like she keeps claiming, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. So Wait, what did you just say? When you don't stop, like, claiming, like... Complaining? Complaining. <laughs> I'm like, claiming? Yeah, why you don't stop complaining? Complaining? Complaining. Wait, when do I complain? Oof, oh, the time. whole time. <laughs> do you guys plan to live together? We We've already, live yeah, together. we live together. This one also says, who would move? Because he was living in Los I Angeles. Mm. He moved here to Miami. I mean, I understand because her family is here and yeah. she has a wonderful family, so. On a scale of one to 10, how crazy is Jesse in real life? <whistles> okay. Okay. Can I, can I? The thing is that we're both crazy. That's true. We both are crazy. But if I would say a number, it would be maybe for both of us eight. We're crazy. Eight and a half. Eight and a half, nine, and Luigi pizza. I know you're not pizza. Italian, sorry. What was life like before you met Jesse? Oh, you know, my life was. Fucking mad bitches. Literally fucking mad bitches. <laughs> Fucker. Using your little French accent yeah, to like... get the girls. <laughs> Put your penis in their vagina! Why are you fucking <laughs> with people? Oh. No, it was just like usual life, you know, like... Like single life, though. A single life. And he was playing soccer? I was playing soccer, too. Hanging out with friends. It was just a normal life, you know? Main and fucking bitches. Main drain in business, fucking sometimes bitches, you know? Like, five times a day? That's not even a joke, like... Yeah, like, five times a week. Mm. It's my past, man. How many kids do you want overall? Three. He only wants two. Okay, so here's the deal. Here, I'm gonna tell the future here, guys. You guys fucking heard it here first. We're having a kid now, obviously, and then we're obviously gonna get married and all that stuff, and we want our child to be like five before we have another kid. We don't want any sooner than that. The I mean, earliest four. The thing is that he only wants to really have two kids. I know that I'm gonna have three because multiple psychics have told me, but also, this is how I picture it happening. We're gonna have a girl now. That's what she's saying. And then, I after this, our next kid is gonna be a girl too. Watch. And then he's gonna wanna try one last time and it's gonna be a boy after that. How much you wanna bet? That's bet. Anyway, I want three kids. Since your fiance is French, how do you guys plan to combine your Cuban culture and his French culture in the baby's life? It's very uh, similar cultures, kind of. French culture is different, but talking about North African culture, because my, my, my family is North African and I am North African. North African culture is not really that different from the Cuban culture, so. The only difference is the languages. Yeah, really. only the language, because there's a lot of similarities. It's not gonna be a problem, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> God. Bless you. <laughs> we just figure it out as we are raising our child, you know? I guess. And as far as languages go, we're gonna start, I think, with Spanish and English. And, and then, then when the child's around like two or three... Yeah, introduce French. Try to introduce French. Have you ever thought both of your lives would take such a huge turn so quickly? Oof, no. Absolutely no, not. No. You could have I mean, told me exactly what was gonna happen and I would have punched you in the face. I mean, you guys, I mean, you fucking know every step of my life and you know the place I was in yeah. before I met him. We were in the same place, which is we both gave up on finding that love. Like, we both gave up on that. We were like, oh, it's fucking bullshit. Let's just have fun. And, you know, we were both just like dating people, mm. fucking people. <laughs> not me. Why are you I it's wasn't. My fault. No, that's fine. I'm jealous that you were ever dated anyone and your lips kissed other people. No, I was. 
I wasn't dating anyone. You know, my first one, so. Do you want to die today? Are you nervous about becoming parents? Fuck. Oof, yeah. I have like a meltdown about it every other day. I was telling him, I don't know if it's because the life is growing inside of me and I feel it and I feel like myself changing and like I just like sense the gravity of the situation. Like I feel the weight of having a baby before it's even out. I think that we're looking, or I am at least, looking at it with like a lot of like fear. Positive. Yeah. I'm no, no. Positive side, no? No, positive side. Uh, just fear. I'm yeah. really looking at it like with a really like, unfortunately, kind of like a bad mindset where I'm just like, oh my God, I'm gonna fuck this up, I'm gonna fuck this up. Where I think when it actually happens, it's gonna surprise me how it makes me feel and how right. easy I can do it and how natural I am at being a mom or things like that will surprise me and help me get along. Because right now I just think I'm gonna be horrible at everything and fuck up my child. Me too, I'm nervous, but... No, you're excited. I am excited, that's fucked I'm so life. nervous, it's hard for me to be excited. All right. Do you have any theme ideas for the nursery? Giraffes! Giraffes! Giraffes. Giraffes. Who's crazier? <laughs> I like this question. No, no, no. It's not between us. Who's crazier? Pregnant Jesse or drunk Jesse? Oh, damn, man. Pregnant Jesse. <laughs> Let me tell you fucking I'll something. I'm a pregnant. nightmare pregnant. I'm really bad. Yeah. Like, it's bad. I think I have patient. patience. 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 He has a lot of patience, yeah, straight up. I'll like go off on him and I'm just like, ah, I said I'm hungry. And he's like, well, we can wait 30 minutes to eat. And I'm like, no, I can't. And I just start freaking out. He goes, ah, okay, what do you want? You want me to go to Wendy's and get you french fries? <laughs> then he just gets my food and he comes back and I just fucking eat it like oh, I'm fucking yeah. mad at shit. That's true. Then I'm happy and then I go to sleep. What has been your favorite moment being together? I don't know about you, but for me, like, I love the moments when him and I just like fucking start cracking up over some dumb shit or like we just are watching something or whatever it is, but it's usually a very simple moment and we'll just be like cracking the fuck up and I'm, I'm just sure. like, oh my god, this is just great. Anyway, that's, yeah, I feel like you didn't talk that much and I fucking talked the whole thing. That's it, I answered the question, son. That's true. So yeah, that's it. I don't know if you guys, you know, feel like you know him now. But you know what? I don't know if there's any fucking questions in the world that can like put you guys really here I'm, right now and like I'm, to understand because I'm, we're two completely like different people. We really are. And it's kind of hard to see from like the surface of like, oh my god, like they don't make any sense or whatever. But like, we have a wonderful relationship. We I'm really sure. do. It is wonderful. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel because I put on new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Uh, Bye! You did good. I am as shocked as you guys are, and I'm sure you guys are fucking shocked. As you guys can see, I have a ring on my finger. I don't know how well you can see it. And um, I accidentally crumpled the sonogram of my unborn child. The first one. This is going really well. This is not clickbait. This is in no way going to be a video where at the end I'm like, haha, just kidding. Like, no, this is happening. I am pregnant and I am engaged.